Hi, this is Marshall Wright with Decker Wright Corporation, and today we're going to walk you through the end user portal for Proofpoint to show you some of the features that are available in it for each of the end users. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice as we set up uh, users in Proofpoint, they're each going to have to set up their own passwords for access into the portal. They'll get an introductory welcome email from Proofpoint where they'll be able to set their password. Once they have their password and they click through the uh, quarantine report in Proofpoint, they'll come to this login screen where they can log in. Uh, we'll log in as a user here so you can see what the portal looks like. And you'll notice across the top tabs, there's a quarantine tab, a settings tab, an archive tab, and an emergency email inbox. Uh, we'll walk through these quickly. The quarantine tab would list out any emails that were trapped in the quarantine uh, actions over on the right side would be to release those emails, either the individual email or that email forever. You'd pick that and that action would be taken and that email would be released to your email box. Uh, I don't have any email in here to show you because this is a new email box, but it's pretty simple, pretty straight ahead. Uh, on the settings tab, wait for the screen to refresh. This should give us access to the uh, whitelist and blacklists. Try again. Okay, th this gets us into uh, information about you as a user, what aliases that you might have for email addresses. Uh, in the spam area, this is going to uh, allow you to make your uh, spam uh, either tighter or uh, more less restrictive than the current rules. And over here in the sender list, this is going to allow you to uh, add in uh, people that you would want to block or people that you would want to add in. Uh, you can put in whole domains as are illustrated in the instructions here. So if I wanted to allow everyone from uh, at msn.com to send me an email, I could put star at msn.com and that means all the emails from msn.com would come into me then. Uh, once you make that selection, you would hit the uh, Save button at the bottom. That will save that setting for you. The uh, next area over is Archive. Uh, if you have archiving enabled, uh, this would go back for many, many months for uh, a basic spam filtering client. This is 30 days of archived emails. You'd be able to go back and recover just by entering in some basic information uh, from who to or uh, subject matter, uh, some words in the, in the text. And last but not least, uh, there's the concept of an emergency inbox. So if your email server is crashed uh, for a storm or uh, any kind of disaster, any inbound emails will be here in the emergency inbox. You'd be able to open the emails and respond to the emails through this emergency inbox. Any emails that you sent or received through the emergency inbox would be forwarded onto your email servers when it becomes available. So that concludes my quick walkthrough of the basic features of the Proofpoint end user portal. Thanks for listening.